Hey guys, how you doing? What's going on? So somebody asked me, is the current or upcoming recession without a job lay layoffs in the FANG companies, Facebook, uh, Amazon, Google, etc. Apple's the exception, I think. But anyway, will all these layoffs and the uh, coming recession affect the job opportunities in development? Short answer is yeah, for sure. There's no question about it. But there's good news. So what's the good news? The good news is that this is temporary. I've seen this happen before. I saw it in the dot-com bubble crash. I saw it in 2000, I think, eight. And we're gonna see it again. That's okay. I've seen other recessions, recessions the last about a year, maybe a year and a half or something like that. That's okay. A lot of the layouts you hear about, by the way, are not necessarily developers. Uh, people worry that, oh, entry-level developer jobs are gonna be less. Well, perhaps, you know, you could say since uh, the job market is a little tighter. They're going to be a little bit more uh, strict about who they hire. Um, they're not going to be so crazy about hiring everybody and his grandmother. They're going to be like, let's make sure our candidates are good. I've heard of fake jobs being listed. That's also possible as well. Let's say it's true for the sake of argument. Number one, it's temporary. Number two, it doesn't change what you should do in terms of strategy, in terms of learning how to be a developer, getting those jobs. You have to just, just keep improving yourself. A common characteristic of being a younger person, teenager, in your 20s maybe, is that you're impatient. You're impatient, which is kind of ironic because when you're young, you got a lot of time, right? You got the whole, you got the rest of your life ahead of you, uh, barring any unforeseen events, but you know, you're in a good position time-wise. Anyhow, but you also have a very short, um, well, you might have a short attention span, but you're impatient. That's kind of built into our lizard brains, by the way. Our, we're very impatient. We want things now. We want things now. But understand, something that takes time is worthwhile, right? As I said in other videos, reason that development is so valuable because you can't just walk into it very easily. There's a certain amount of effort. There is that barrier to entry. There's that challenge that a lot of people fall back and fail. But if you are patient and consistent, follow the program, you will get there. And you can be amongst those people who, who profit from this very uh, lucrative career. So yes, over the next little while, there could it will be harder. I would imagine so. But it doesn't, doesn't change the strategy. The strategy is to master the fundamentals, build your portfolio website, get out there, do the two to three small projects for small business for free or uh, nonprofit. Get your hands dirty with code, be helpful, be useful, get, have good communication skills, and you get the job. No question about it. Might take you a little longer now. You might have to work a little harder. You have to study the job market as well. You learn your fundamentals, but don't just listen to some young nerdling on YouTube tell you what to do. You have to go out there and do a little research for yourself. If you live in Germany, if you live in uh, New Delhi, if you live in New York, you live in San Francisco, Florida, Montreal, wherever you happen to live, research the local job market, start poking around, check the listings, check Google listings, call up some companies, see what to say, see where the demand is. One thing you're gonna figure out pretty quickly is that demand uh, will vary depending on where you live in the world. Certain technologies, like in certain areas, PHP is popular, in other areas it's C Sharp, in other areas it's Java. Same with industries as well. Java, C Sharp, usually big organizations. Uh, JavaScript, Python, PHP, you have a lot more opportunity in small organizations there. And these all play into the type of jobs you can get and uh, the type of role you might play. Uh, some people like the idea of working for big companies, some small, some startups, some not. There's pros and cons to everything. So I'm not going to tell you one is better than the other. Really, you know, it really depends what you want to do. But anyway, step one, you got to learn your fundamentals. No matter what, where you end up eventually, no developer, PHP uh, Drupal developer, uh, Python AI uh, scripter, who knows, server automation scripter with Python. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, these are all specializations, regardless of which specialization you end up in, you still have to learn your fundamentals. What does that mean? That means learning all the basics of coding and good writing good code, good communication, good writing skills. These all play into it. So yeah, 
just continue on the path. You can watch other videos where I talk about all these details. It's continue on the path. Yes, it may take a little longer, but who cares? What are you going to do? You're going to stay at home and play video games, you know? You have to just work a little bit longer, a little bit more consistently. And yes, instead of getting the job in six months or five months, or it might take you a year to get that job. It doesn't matter. Well, I guess it matters. You got to pay your bills, but it, it's, it, you know, it sucks, but, but it takes longer, but whatever. You spend that extra few months and you get there. And once you're there, you're there. So yeah, recession likely, like any other recession, will reduce the headcount, but this is temporary. And finally, it doesn't change the program. It doesn't mean you have to rethink everything you do. You just have to be better at what you do. Just work towards it. Trust me, it's worth the effort. You cannot learn a wrong language. You cannot learn a wrong technology. You cannot, all these things uh, accrue and build up your basic skill sets. The most important invest investment you can make in yourself, well, excuse me, the most important investment you can make in one's life is in yourself. So keep learning, keep keep working at it. Don't worry, it will come. Uh, whether it be with one of my programs or anybody else's, just keep working at it, you'll get there, despite the fact we could be going into recession. That happens, don't worry, get used to it, it's part of life.